Hey everyone, it's Jacob here back again with another video. Um, so it's been quite a few days since my last video, I think like maybe six days or maybe even a full week. Um, and that's only because uh, I haven't really had enough like free time or long time to make a, a video over the past few days because um, my cousins are visiting over the weekend and stuff like that. And yeah, um, but uh, I'm back now, so um, for today's video, this is going to be one of those, like, stuff I, stuff I got recently from various stores videos. Uh, something like that. Um, okay. Alright, I just had to adjust my setup there. Okay. Um, see, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, so let's get started. So, uh, first, I went to, um, the record store near me recently, Mouth Music and Movies. Um, and, um. I got some, some stuff there, um, I did a, a video of, like, a few days ago of stuff I got recently from a record store near me, um, but that, that was, like, they were having a big sale and stuff, but this time my brother is, like, uh, took me there because we had to go to, like, his, his work, and it was, like, really close to that store, Mount High School Movies, um, so, yeah, um, and also I'm proud to say, um, I did do, a, well, the last proper video I did was, like, um, probably, like, uh, hold on, I'm trying to think, uh, oh, it was, uh, my Disney Channel DVD collection part two, when I showed, like, my Hannah Montana, two of Zach and Cody, and two of on Jack DVDs, that was the last proper video I did, but then I did, like, a, a live stream on my PS4 of me playing, um, like, a a game called Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. It's an old game. I found, like, the PlayStation Store on the PS4 for free. I used to play it all the time on, like, not on the... It used to be on, like, the original PlayStation and, like, the PS2, but I used to play it on my brother's old PS3 all the time because he had a bunch of old, like, original PlayStation and PS2 games uh, downloaded on there, and the Toy Story game was one of them. Toy Story 2 was Lightyear to the Rescue. Um, and... Um, so I did a live stream of me playing that for, it was last Thursday for, like, Throwback Thursday, but not many people saw that, so that was kind of a fail video, and you can, you can, like, barely hear my voice in that video, like, the microphone I was using wasn't really that good, I guess, you couldn't really hear my voice over, the, like, the game audio and stuff, so, um, yeah, that video was kind of a fail, but, so, most likely if you're watching this right now, you have, you have probably haven't even seen that live stream of me playing a Toy Story game. Anyway, so I got that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing I got from Mouth Music and Movies is this Shrek 2 Disc Special Edition. Now I have, I already had quite a few copies of Shrek, but um, I didn't have this like 2 Disc Special Edition. This is $4 as you can see. Um, yeah, I didn't have this 2 Disc Special Edition. And um, just to like show you, I, I already had this for a while, but this is the like standard one disc edition of the Shrek DVD. Um, I already had this for a while, so I, when I found this two disc special edition, I thought this like might have a, some like more content than the regular one disc version. But um, if you see in a second, there's the spines of both of them. Oops. Okay, and then here's the backs. Um, if you look at both of the special features lists on both of them, they look pretty similar. Like uh, or bonus features, it's as you can call them bonus features or special features, or whatever you want to call them. But, um, you know, they looked pretty similar, um, it was a lot of the, a lot of the same stuff, um, you know, there might be, like, one or two things, one or two bonus features on this that aren't on this, but I think most of the bonus features on this 2 special edition are in this, like, standard one disc edition here, so, um, yeah, I just thought this would have, like, uh, more content that's not on the one disc version. But, um, you know, it's actually a lot of the same stuff, but, um, but for example, one big thing is, like, the Shrek's Revoice Studio thing at the top, I don't think that's on the one disc version. Uh, it's, like, uh, and that's a DVD-ROM thing, you, like, put the DVD into the computer, and the Revoice Studio thing is a, an option you can pick, it's, like, a little thing where you record your voice, or you can record your lines, and start in one of 12 entire scenes, it says. Um, and then this, this thing down here, it says exclusive... Hence for Shrek Xbox video game only available on this DVD. I thought that meant that it was 
um, only on this two disc version, but that's actually listed on the one disc version as well. It's an exclusive Hence for Shrek Xbox video game right there. So, um, yeah, I might have made a mistake in getting <laughs> this because um, there's not actually that many differences at all in this two disc special edition compared to the one disc version. I thought there was a bit more differences. But yeah, I'll go ahead and show the one disc in here real quick. There it is, just plain gray. Uh, and here are the discs in the two disc version. Right there, this one has Shrek on it, this too has Donkey on it. And then there's like some inserts and stuff. Right here. Um, yeah, so the, I probably didn't need this two disc special edition since the one disc special edition, or not special edition, I was gonna say, I probably didn't need this two disc special edition since the one disc version that I already had uh, had like pretty much all the bonus features that this one has. and. Like I said, I don't really, I don't really think there's that many differences at all. Like, there's not only that many additional bonus features on the two disc version compared to the one disc version. So, um, probably don't need this two disc version, but it's still cool to have, I guess. Um, uh, but it's kind of weird. Like, why would they make like two different versions of the Shrek DVD a one disc version and a, and a two disc version? There's no differences or anything. Like, it's basically all the same bonus features and stuff. So. Why would they make two different versions if they're like pretty much the same? It's kind of weird. But anyways, that's it. Um, so, um, next up I got, um, this is uh, season one of a show called Robot Chicken. I got this for seven dollars. Um, I, I kind of wanted to check out Robot Chicken because I've heard a lot of good things about it. I can know a lot of people really like it. It's a really funny show, and my brother actually used to watch it quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like a more adult version of, like, a show called Mad on Cartoon Network. It's it's very similar to that. Um, there's a sticker from Best Buy on here. It says $25, but I think this is a sticker from something else, because it says Chris Angel, which I think that's, like, a, a magician guy or something. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, don't really know why that sticker is there, but anyways, um, so it says special features include behind the scenes footage, lead scenes, original Sweet J presents skits, episode commentaries, and much, much more, and that says 20 episodes, um, so yeah, and each episode is only like 8 minutes long, I think, if I remember correctly, I thought they were at least a bit longer, like at least like 11 minutes long or something like that, but yeah, anyways. So here's what, the, like, the actual, like, case looks like and stuff. has, like, the list of episodes there. And, like, the special features and stuff. Right there. There's, like, a mad scientist guy or something there. Uh, and then it has, like, pictures for each episode on the case there. And then we had the two discs here. Um, and the two discs, looks like, they look like, like, color bar kind of things. Like, if you'd see if, like, your TV is... if. Uh, like an older TV who like wasn't working, you'd see just like color bar kind of things. Uh, but the thing is, um, like uh, when I put disc one into like my PS4 the other day when I first got this, it wasn't working. It said unrecognized disc, make sure the disc isn't dirty or damaged, and make sure it isn't upside down. And, and it wasn't dirty, it was clean, and, um, and it wasn't upside down, so... I'm not sure why Disc 1 wasn't working, or at least it wasn't working in the PS4. I don't know if it was, like, something going on with, with the PS4 or with the disc itself. I don't really know, but uh, but Disc 1 doesn't work for some reason. But Disc 2 does. I put Disc 2 and that one loaded up. So, yeah. Got a defective disc, unfortunately. Because, like I said, Disc 1 didn't work for some reason. But yeah, that's that. Um, so next up, this was just five dollars. This was a laugh out loud double feature thing with both of the grown ups movies. I guess that only five dollars, and I already had the first grown ups movie on Blu ray. Actually, I actually got the first grown ups movie that one other time I went to Monster Music and the movies for that big sale they were having. Um, 
and I made a video of like stuff I got recently from records or near me that um the stuff I got from that big sale and stuff. Actually that video doesn't really have that many views, so you should probably go and find that video if you haven't watched it. But um yeah, I decided to get this because it had grown ups too and I didn't have grown ups two yet. I haven't seen the second one yet, only the first one. I plan on watching the second one soon, but I don't know exactly when. I'll see it. I don't know exactly when I'll watch it, I meant. I was pro probably sounding kind of weird with that pause, and I was like, I don't know exactly when. I'll see it. <laughs> probably sounded kind of weird. Anyway. So it just talks about each of the two movies there. And then... It doesn't have, like, two discs, like, one like one movie on each disc. It's just one disc with both the movies on it. And I haven't actually popped in this disc yet, but, I'm, but if I had to guess, it's... Um, there's probably no special features or anything. It's probably just one menu with, like, um, with, like, both of the movies. And there's just, like, a play movie option. And, like, it's, uh, like, you can toggle the subtitles on and off. That's probably it, if I had to guess. Because I found, like, these, uh, double feature kind of things before. And, um, and there's some, like, triple feature and, like, four pack kind of things that are, like, this kind of style. And, like, usually it was... Uh, with these just like one menu it's just with each movie the only option is just like play movie and then the option like toggle subtitles on and off like there's usually no scene selection or special features with these like um like multi-movie kind of things but uh yeah that's that i guess i'm trying to straighten up the disc um <laughs> there we go Um, that's the last thing I got from Lost Music and Movies, um, uh, this, um, this is a limited keepsake edition of the original Christmas classic, Seven Holiday Favorites, um, so, um, I'd actually, I've actually been wanting something called the Complete Raken Bass Christmas Collection with, like, every single old, like, Christmas sh short and stuff like that, but I haven't really able been able to find it anywhere, um, I did see it at Walmart once, but it was like $50, and, um, I didn't really have a whole lot of money at that point when I found it, so, um, I decided to, I think I decided to just, like, come back and get it when I have more money, but if I remember correctly, last time I was at Walmart, I didn't see the, the complete Rankin Bass Christmas collection thing, so somebody else must have gotten it. Uh, I haven't seen it anywhere else besides that one time at Walmart, unfortunately, but, um, I found this. And my Moth Music and Movies is only two dollars and I thought it looked pretty cool. It's kinda of like a book style kind of thing. And it has seven of the old Rankin Bass Christmas short kind of things. Uh Real Thrown Those Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is coming to town, Little Drummer Boy, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, Cricket on the Hearth, and Frosty Returns as well. I've seen um I know I've seen these two, Real Thrown Those Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman. I feel like maybe I've seen Santa Claus coming to town, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I know I've never watched the Little Drummer Boy. I know I've never watched Mr. Good's Christmas Carol. I know I've never watched Cr Cricket on the Hearth. I'm pretty sure I haven't watched Frost Returns, but I might have. I'm not 100% sure about that. And then another reason, another thing I thought was really cool, my god, this is, uh, as you can see on the bottom, it comes with the bonus holiday music CD, bonus Christmas CD. So it's featuring Holly Jolly Christmas and Rolf and those Reindeer, sung by Burl Eyes, plus other classic favorites. Now if we open it here, um, so, so here's the first two discs here with, uh, this one has Frosty Snowman, and it says featuring Frosty Returns. And then this one says it has Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and at the bottom it says featuring Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol and the Little Drummer Boy. That actually opens up like so to reveal two more discs. So this disc said it has Roll Through Nose Reindeer and uh, featuring Cricket on the Hearth. Then here's the bonus Christmas CD right there, Christmas Classic. Um, the only like way I have to like uh, listen to a CD is like through my Xbox 360 that I have. That's the only console that I have that um, like this. That I can like listen to CDs on. It's like the only way I can listen to CDs at the moment. My I do technically also have an Xbox One, but it's my technically my dad's and it's in his like office area. Um, I used to use that before I got the Xbox 360, but 
yeah, the Xbox 360 is way better than the Xbox One, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, and the, the Christmas CD has the songs for all three those Reindeer by Burl Ives, uh, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by Bobby, Bobby Rydell, Holly Jolly Christmas by Burl Ives, Silver and Gold by Burl Ives, Let It Snow by Chicago, Winter Wonderland by Jewel, and Merry Christmas Baby by Otis Redding. Um, um, I know Burl's from those Reindeer, obviously. Um, I know Holly Jolly Christmas, it's Silver and Gold. Um, this version of Rock Around the Christmas, Christmas Tree by Bobby Rydell, I, I don't think I've ever heard that version. I just know the version by, um, I forgot her name, but the, the one woman, um, that I think most people, that's like the default version of Rock Around the Christmas Tree that they think of is the version by that one woman, I can't remember her name, but yeah, and then, uh, Let It Snow by Chicago, I've never heard that version either, the, the version of Let It Snow I know is, um, again, I can't remember the name of the person, but it's by some other guy, um. And then Winter Wonderland by Jewel. I don't think that's the version I know, but I might be wrong. And then Merry Christmas Baby. I don't I don't think I know that song, but I might I might be wrong. Might be lying. <laughs> um anyways. Oh and then there's like some some artwork, if you will, on the back underneath the discs. So eh. whoops. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's like a, some pictures underneath the discs right there. There we go. And then I believe there's some pictures under the other two discs, the Frosty Snowman and Santa Claus Coming to Town. There's another picture there. My favorite little Christmas short out of all these is probably Frosty the Snowman. That's like the most classic one in my opinion. Rolls Through Nose Reindeer is pretty cool too, but uh, Roll Riddle Through Nose Reindeers has like some stupid moments in it to be honest and um, just has some flaws and stuff, definitely not the best. Those are the only two I really remember out of these. It's Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Actually, um, I have this, uh, this other version of the original Christmas Classics set. Um, this is a Blu-ray, the original Christmas Classics Anniversary Collector's Edition. Um, this one I've had for a while. I don't remember where I got it or anything. But, yeah, similar to, like, the one disc version of Shrek. I've had that for a while. I don't remember where I got it either. But, um, this has all the same... Christmas shorts as this one. Um, and then I mentioned some special features down here. Um, I don't know if all these special features are on this are on this version here, because it doesn't list any special features on this version. So I'm not sure if all these special features are on this one. But it's fine if not. Um, but you know, I, I know you might be saying that these these seem like pretty much the same thing. Why do you decide to get this lemonade keepsake edition version. Well, I, I got this because I just really like this this packaging, and it came with that bonus Christmas CD, which is isn't in this version. So, yeah. I mean, I'll just quickly show the the discs real quick. It's just two discs in separate cases. It wasn't right really way easier if they just put both discs in one case. But um, yeah. There's the first disc with uh, looks like Santa Claus coming to town. Little Drummer Boy, and Mr. McGoo's Christmas Carol. Um, and then... Then here's disc two with Real Friend of Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Cricket on the Hearth, and Frosty Returns as well. This is one of the things I got recently. It's, like I said, I've had this for a while. I just wanted to show this since it's kind of like another version of the, the other Christmas thing that I just got from Awesome Music and Movies. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, I, st I still do really want the, like, complete Rankin Bass Christmas collection that I mentioned. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get it, but yeah, if, if I, if I'm still not able to find it on any 
at any like physical stores at any point I might just order on it on Amazon at some point and there's also uh, something else that came out last year that I've kind of been wanting is um well Cartoon Network celebrated it's like 30th anniversary oh, excuse me I was gonna say I just burped there sorry about that um I was gonna say Cartoon Network just celebrated it's like um it's 30th anniversary, I believe, last year, and they came out with a couple of, like, complete series DVD sets for a couple of their shows. Um, like, uh, last year they came out with a complete series of Ed, Ed, and Eddie and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Um, I quite like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. It'd be cool to have a complete series set of that, but Ed, Ed, and Eddie I've never really been interested in, so probably don't need that, but mainly the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends complete series. I, I kind of want that. I haven't really seen either of those new Cartoon Network Complete series sets at any physical stores or anything, though. So just, like, the Complete Rankin Bass Christmas collection, I might have to order at least the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends on Amazon. I'm not so sure about the Ed and Nettie one. Yeah, anyways, so that was everything that I got from my music and movies. Now, um, so now I, there's a, I have a couple of things that I got from Target recently. So this first thing, there's, like, a little, there's, like, a little $5 movie section on my Target a store, my local Target store near me. This is one of the ones in that section. It's a movie called The Good Boys. Only five dollars. Um, it would be more impressive if this was uh, a Blu-ray of Good Boys for only five dollars, but it's just the regular DVD version, but not a big deal. Um, I had wanted to watch this movie for uh, a little while before I got this. Um, I think it sounded like a really funny movie, and uh, it has the, the same guy that was, or the, the same kid or whatever that was in uh, Wonder, um, Augie, the kid with the, like the, the facial deformities, if you will. Um, Jacob Tremblay is his real name. Um, and this also has uh, Millie Davis, who is also in, one, in Wonder, the same movie that he was in. Um, and Millie Davis, she was also a Mizzo in uh, Odd Squad. Fun pack there. Um, it's kind of weird that they had like that they have like the rating on the front, like like in big letters and stuff right there. Usually the the rating of the movie on like DVDs and stuff is only on the back. But anyways, but yeah, it says rated R for strong cr crude sexual content, drug and alcohol material, and language throughout, all involving tweens. Um, there's quite a there's quite a bit of like bad words and stuff in this movie. But not a big deal. Um, I did watch this, like, um, I think it might have been the day I got it, actually, um, um, with my brother. Um, it was a pretty good movie. Not, not one of my favorite movies, though. It's, it's, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst, either. Anyways, it says, outrageous unrated bonus features. Uh, it says includes alternate endings, lead and extended scenes, gag reel, and much, much more as well and there's the inside with the disc just a red disc there and no inserts or anything it's an eco box case as you can tell by the symbol it means like a recyclable case uh anyways okay um and i got one other thing from target which is um I got a new game. This is a new version of Family Feud. Um, it's basically, um, you, you download like a Family Feud app and, um, and you like, um, uh, you like, uh, uh, I, I can't remember the word for it, but you like stream it onto your TV or something like that. Um, uh, and it actually has Steve Harvey and he reads off the questions and answers and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, so basically, like, Steve Harvey is right in your, right in your house, being the host of your own personal family feud game, which is pretty cool. Um, I have a game that's similar to this, um, which is, like, the, the newest, uh, Seen It game, uh, Movie Seen It, just another version of, like, regular Movie Seen It, uh, hosted by Mario Lopez, actually, which, which was kind of random, but... Yeah, that game is another game where you, like, get an app on your phone, you, like, stream it onto the TV and stuff like that. Um, but these games where you, like, stream the, the, the app on your phone onto the TV, they, they, they're kind of laggy a lot of the time, like, 
they have like cups and stuff and like um like just like really laggy like a lot of time it's like bleh, 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 like stuff like that um like it's like laggy like that i don't know if that was a good like demonstration of what i'm talking about um anyways um yeah that's i don't really feel like opening the box to show all the pieces and stuff but there are like um there are like cars in here if you um, if you don't want to play with, like, the TV or anything, there's, like, cards in here. Um, if you, if you just want to play with, like, uh, the questions and answers on, like, cards and stuff, if you don't want to play the, with, along with, like, Steve Harvey on the TV or anything. Um, anyways, that's that. And then just a couple more, uh, things here. There's a couple of vinyl records I got recently. Um, well, this first one I actually got a, a little while back, but I don't think I ever showed it in a video after I got it. This is a vinyl record of music from Stranger Things Season 4. Um, my brother actually surprised me with this one day. When he came over one day, he went to that Monster Music and Movie store, and he got this for me and surprised me with it. I wasn't with him when he, when he got it. He just, like, uh, came, he just came over and surprised me when I said he went to Monster Music and Movies himself, and he found this and got it for me. Um... So this actually has, um, like, not, like, actual songs, but, like, the, the instrumental tracks, like, play in the background of, like, the episodes and stuff. Um, I believe there are, um, this is Volume 1, so there's, like, Volume 2 as well. It has more instrumental stuff. But there is, um, like, a record that has, like, the actual music from Season 4, like, actual songs and stuff, not just instrument instrumental stuff. So, yeah. But then, um, I also have, um, I also have a vinyl record of music from the first two seasons of Stranger Things I got for Christmas last year, along with my record player. Um, so the only, the only, like, music of Stranger Things I'm missing is music from season three of Stranger Things. I don't have a record of, a vinyl record of season, of music from season three of Stranger Things. So yeah, um, this if you open it up like this, is what it looks like on the inside. This is the scene where Max, like, levitated. Um, and then we have, on the bottom here, we have Lucas, Steve, and Dustin right there. Um, this is Max's brother, Billy's grade right there. Because he died at the end of a season three. If you've never watched Stranger Things, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Um... But, um, so here is one of the records, uh, ah, no, hold on, okay, um, <clears throat> it has a, a picture of the California game from season four, Argyle, Will, Jonathan, and Mike, and then here's what the, what the actual record looks like, um, it's a nice blue color, which is pretty cool, um, so yeah, that's it. Come on. It's sometimes really hard to get records back into their case. <coughs> there we go. Okay, and then uh, here is the other one. There's two records in here. So this one has a picture of Eleven over at Hawkins' lab there. And then the other side has a picture of uh, Max, Lucas, Dustin, and Erica right there. And then there's what the record looks like. It's another blue record. Um, I try not to touch my records because obviously I don't want to get them dirty or anything because then they might not work, and I not play or anything. So I was just showing both both of these records in here. I was trying to touch them up, like as little as I could. Anyways. There we go. So that's that. Um, this video is a half hour long. I didn't think it would be this long. Uh, anyways, this is the last thing I wanted to show, um, this is another vinyl record, um, 
So my mom and I just went to Cracker Barrel for dinner, like, a, a few nights ago. And, um, like, they have... Cracker Barrel is, like, a combination restaurant and store, like, all in one, which is pretty cool. And so we had uh, dinner at the, at the restaurant in Cracker Barrel, and then we looked through the store a little bit, and they have, like, a, a little display of uh, vinyl records and stuff. And so I thought this one was pretty cool, so I got this one. This is a record, a vinyl record of songs from Frozen, the Disney movie, movie Frozen. Um, now, uh, Frozen is a movie that I've never really been a huge fan of, but I do really like the songs from Frozen. But, like, the, the movie itself, like, the story and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's like, alright. Like, I'm not really, like, a huge fan of it, but the songs I, I love. Like, I, I really like the songs in Frozen. Uh, Oh, my mom just started talking downstairs. I think she just started talking to someone on the phone or something. Anyways. So this list of the songs down here. There's only one record in here. Uh, with two sides, five songs on each side. So ten songs in total. So side A has the songs Frozen Heart. I don't actually remember that song. Uh, Do You Want to Build a Snowman, of course. Uh, For the First Time in Forever. Love is an Open Door. Let It Go. All the classics. And then side B over here has... Reindeers are better than people. Uh, for, uh, in summer, for the first time, and forever a reprise, fixer upper, and let it go. The middle of auto version. I don't remember reindeers better than people or fixer upper. I don't remember those two songs either. So, like three songs on here, I don't really know. I don't really remember anything. But yeah, I actually have both "Let It Go" and "You Want to Build a Snowman" saved in a in a Disney songs playlist that I made on uh, Spotify. Um. Well, the, the Do You Want to Build a Snowman I have saved isn't actually the, the original version of the movie. Uh, the version of, do it, of the song Do You Want to Build a Snowman that I have saved in my Disney songs playlist is... Um, it was the version that was sung by Disney's Circle of Stars, which is basically various stars from Disney Channel shows. Um, I just really like that version the best. But, um, yeah, that's that. And then this is the actual record here on the front, actually. You open this... Up and you take it out like this. And that's what it looks like. It's actually a big picture on both the front and the back. So you can see. Um, at first, it might look like I'm touching the record here, but there's actually like a, a plastic covering thing, like covering it here on the front. So yeah, that's that. Um, they had a few other Disney vinyl records at Cracker Barrel. Like, uh, I wasn't really interested in, in any of the other ones they had. They had like the Lion King, which is the song from Lion King, or Godly, I thought it's the Akuna Matata, I Just Can't Wait to Be King, uh, Circle of Life, stuff like that. Um, but uh, I never really liked the song from The Lion King too terribly much. I mean, The Lion King as a movie, like, overall, I just don't really like that much, which, um, no offense to a lot of people, I know a lot of, a lot of people's favorite Disney movie is The Lion King, but I just don't really get it. I don't really like The Lion King too terribly much, to be honest. Um, and then they also had a uh, Mulan vinyl record at Cracker Barrel. But the only song in Mulan that I really like is the Let's Get Down to Business to Defeat the Huns. Um, I think the song is just called I'll Make a Man Out of You. That's the only song in Mulan that I really like, though. So I want to make sense to get a whole vinyl record of songs from Mulan if I only really like one song from Mulan. And then they also had a vinyl record of songs from Aladdin. But I don't really like the song from Aladdin that much either. To, to be honest, even like the one of the most popular Disney songs in a lot in the I can show you the world shining and shimmering splendid and that song, um even that song I don't really like that much, to be honest, even though it's like one of the most popular Disney songs. Um But I, I just really like the songs in Frozen, so that's why I got this. But like like I said, like the Frozen, like the movie itself, like the story and stuff I I'm not really a huge fan of, like, the songs I do really, really like. Um, so, yeah, that was that. I don't really have uh, much else to say. Um, and by the way, I forgot to say about the, the Shrek 2, the special edition. I did, um, I did do, like, a Shrek DVD collection video a little while back before I got this 2, the special edition. And, um, when I showed the, this, uh, the original version of the Shrek DVD that I had, the one, the special edition in that video, um, I said I'd 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 seen like a two the special edition though, and I was thinking about picking it up. I didn't know if there's any like uh, major differences between the one disc and two disc version, but uh, but yeah, like I said earlier, the 
it, there isn't actually that much differences at all between the one disc and two disc versions of the Shrek DVD. So, yeah, like I said, it's kind of weird that they made two different versions of the Shrek DVD if there's not really that many differences. But anyways, um, so now I don't really have anything else to say. Um, well, this video turned out to be, turned out to be three or five minutes long. I thought it was going to be a little bit shorter than that, but not a big deal. Um, and yeah, more content, the better, because I haven't made videos in a while. Um, but anyways, I don't really have anything else to say, so, uh, yeah, of course, use like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. And, yeah, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll, of course, see you in the next video. Peace.